Okay, I'm doing a, hello to everybody. I'm doing a video on how to install or a save file for the new Puppy 5.0 Linux. I'm now starting the computer with the downloaded ISO burned to a CD uh, as my computer comes up here. Um, you can run this live right off the disk, but every time you go in, you'll have to save all your preferences again. You'll have to set up your networking and uh, and things like that. Networking your mouse, your region, uh, special applications you might want. It comes with a full set of applications. Uh, there's some new features that uh, come with it. And we'll go over that. And right now it's loading off of the disk right into RAM and when it comes up we'll, we'll configure our networking uh, some some computers are easier to configure on the networking than others it all depends on the, the way you connect and uh, whether the drivers are supported uh, most of the time, I have pretty much pretty good luck. Uh, uh, every version of the the puppy has come out. Uh, things have things have gotten better and better, and and uh, it still seems to run just as smooth. Uh, boots up just as quick after you get a save file, either on a USB stick, one of these, or. Uh, put it on uh, uh, on your hard drive if you like. Uh, the first first boot, we're going to come into a boot screen that asks you about your keyboard layout, or of course USA. We're going to we're just going to say yes to all this stuff pretty much. And now it's asking about uh, local settings, um, English USA. We're going to go OK. Uh, I don't really care so much about what this is. We will say that I'm uh, U.S. Eastern. And we'll just push Enter for OK. And now this is a, a video wizard. It wants to check my video. We're going to go ahead and let it probe. And it gives me two. Well, actually, it gives me a lot. Um, we're going to go with... Uh, 1024 by 786. Now I'm going to go 800 by 624 so we can see this a little better. And once I've told it all that, it's up and running. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our browser. And one of the new features is that you can select the browser that you like from Firefox, CMonkey, Chrome. Uh, Opera, which is a very good one also. I'm going to use the smallest one, slim and fast here. It's, it's uh, by Puppy, uh, the default one. We're going to go OK. And we're going to check to see if our network got set up by going over to Browse. One click on the icons in, in Linux, most Linux distributions, uh, especially Puppy here. And this is their start page, but the uh, hourglass over here, the the magnifying glass is going to be our, our search thing. Nothing's found. So we're going to have to set up our our uh, internet here. So we go over to connect. It's going to pop up a list. It's going to say, oh, there's no modem detected. So you're wondering, okay, we're going to go connect to internet by wired or wireless LAN. We'll click on that once. And here's a network wizard. Voila. We're going to see what it has to say over here. And it actually picks something up here. We're going to give that a try. I'm going to say OK. That's Auth0. And we're going to try to detect our DHCP, which is our router. And yes, it found it. And this is going to say successful. We're going to say we're done. This is just asking me uh, if I've want to keep this uh, network wizard as my as my default I'm going to go ahead and say yes and okay and we're going to check the browser one more time 
the default start page over here to search the internet and boom here we go we got Google so we got our network set up so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna X out of this maybe and we're gonna go ahead and shut down or reboot the computer so we're gonna go in we're gonna save all our preferences now so we don't lose them we're gonna go ahead and say save to file we're just gonna go OK this is gonna ask you where you want to save it I could save it to the USB card or I can save it to the uh, either of these partitions it'll look through everything to find out if there's a save file anywhere on your computer I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on SDA1 which is the first half of my or the second half of my hard drive there we go. okay it says extension 2 is what we're going to do it as uh, this asked me if I want to save it as a different name no we're going to go okay it uses default um, this asks you if you want to encrypt it that means you put a password in before you enter uh, nobody but friends use my computer so we're just going to go to normal no encryption uh, the standard 512 megabytes is what it's going to ask you what size you want the save file to be and uh, now it's saving oh it's asking me if I'm if I'm really serious if I want to do this of course I tell it yes and this will take a little bit for it to save uh, the prior information and what the save file will do is if you um, you can browse the internet and want to save certain certain bookmarks and things like that when you come back they'll all be there your history and stuff like that it's going to come up here shortly and it's going to ask me uh, whether I want to save some other files that are on the disk uh, to the hard drive and I'm going to say yes to speed up the boot up and we will come back for part two uh, when the after this goes down we'll, we'll we'll start fresh at boot up